Now on to another of the mistakes. This one is a bit uh, cruel in a way. The Tory party were um, very engaged on Twitter during the election, and in some respects very um, forward in how they tried to use Twitter. Um, they, they obviously looked at how people were using Twitter, tried to use it in the you know, best practice manners, and failed abysmally. Um, and where they went wrong is they didn't think about their audience, they didn't think about, they had this nice idea in the planners' heads about how these campaigns would run, but then it went out to the people who were actually on Twitter, and the people on Twitter had a very different reaction. Um, well, it came down to the number of people on Twitter who were willing to stand up and say, I am pro-Tory, was greatly outnumbered by the number of people on Twitter who were willing to stand up and put some egg on the Tory party's face. So they run, um, uh, this one was particularly disastrous. This was a hashtag campaign. They were trying to create a, a forum and a discussion around, um, it was called Cash Gordon, and it was around donations to the Labour Party and Labour Party money. So they were trying to create a, a counter-response to uh, the um, Lord Ashcroft discussions that were going on. And in order to encourage people, they said, if you tweet with this uh, Cash Gordon in your tweet, we will echo it on our website. So we're going to give you some uh, some publicity and some love, and you'll feel uh, you'll feel engaged with us. This is something other people have done quite well. Um, I've run a campaign for a charity that used this to great effect. Here, though, it got used to attack their website, um, especially when it was found that there was a security hole in their website, which meant that you could take over this Tory party website. Um, and within hours, this website was covered with insults to the Tory party, redirects to, um, well, redirects to the, their opponents, that, um, and also redirects off to porn sites. They just didn't anticipate that, well, if they'd thought for a second, they'd have realized there are people out there who don't like us and who will use us. Ditto when, um, so they had things like David Cameron is a uh, flashing in giant letters over the web. Ditto uh, with I'm voting Conservative. This was uh, getting people to say why they were going to vote Tory um, and therefore create a you know, positive, um, reinforcing uh, buzz around their community. Except it got hijacked by the sarcastic anti-Tory majority. Uh, Twitter is... Twitter has a, Twitter has like a youngish left leaning, leftish leaning, um, not a natural place for Tories, which, um, yes, resulted in I'm voting Conservative being taken over by statements like this. I'm voting Conservative because the BNP won't have me. So all in all, they had, I, I do feel sorry for them in a way. They, they ran a campaign that on paper looked sensible, but in practice, it just didn't work.